I got a hotel suite. You can see yeah. This is such a what? It's a fat vibe. vibe. We can hear it. Such you. a fat vibe. <laughs> fat vibe merch coming soon. Dude, we're here. Where are we right now? Palm Beach. Where are we? Palm Beach. Why are you laughing? Uh, we're here with a lot of friends, uh, but yeah. we've we've met them in different ways as we have gone along. One's a waitress we've known for like 24 hours. <laughs> um, the other, Esther and her brother, well, like, we haven't seen each other in like five years. No, I think it's like eight. Eight? Holy shit. Years? Well, we definitely met like freshman year or sophomore year. Yeah. Yeah. No, sophomore year, because I wasn't even there freshman year. Oh, Okay, but. well, we just I just graduated from college, so True. sophomore year of high school. So six, seven. I don't know. It's been a long time. What the frick, dude? How do we even know each other still? I don't even know. I don't, I don't think we, we do. Into it. I don't know. Oh, I uh. just met this dude, though. <laughs> yeah, Chris. Yeah. I'm just here. Chris yeah. is just like, hey, Just meeting people. Fuck um, yeah. Okay, dude, let's talk about the stuff that happened earlier in the week real fast so we can get into the funny stuff, because I want to talk about Sam just busting out dance moves last night. <laughs> um, busting. And then me leaving him and his sister being mad at me. Uh, <laughs> um yeah <laughs> so this week let's just talk about atlanta and then move on we were in atlanta we wrote and recorded an original song shout out young stew in one day how did it go weird weird no it was sick it was sick it was a home fun. studio dude the guitar yeah slayed it in the second fucking in the take? second take yeah yes, chris huge. had two takes on the guitar slayed it in the second take it took me then the remaining six hours to get the vocals right which they're still probably not right. But it turned out nasty. Because Stu's like, for some reason, my pitch correction won't work. He's like, oh, you don't need it. I'm like, Stu, I need it. <laughs> I really, <laughs> really need auto-tune. <laughs> um, and then we had a sick guitar solo that we were able to get for $25. Best $25 I've ever spent <laughs> Dude, in my life. No. Um, it's the best part of the whole song. It's the best part of the whole song. It actually makes the song. The, whole, the rest of the song is kind of sh- shitty because nice. we're not that great compared to the guitar solo. Okay. But we're trying to blow that up on Spotify. That's the goal. It's coming out soon. <laughs> yeah, go soon. stream. Yeah, go, go stream it, go guys. Stream it. It's definitely not out because this is a podcast. Oh, by the way, we're filming this podcast Monday Once morning. Again. Same day it's coming out. <laughs> so if you're listening to it now, we've, we recorded this six hours prior to it being dropped. Um, after that, next day, we collaborated with Liberty Schultz, and we our goal is to become drag queens for the day. And how did that we go? Got very close. <laughs> yeah. But we made some contacts, so now when we go back to Atlanta, we can mm-hmm. actually... My girl, Bridget, yeah, she said she would put us in drag. And, I mean, we I was on stage. We were... We were, we were you have picture proof. We have picture proof of me on stage. And one of the, uh, the drag queens was behind me, mimicking, sucking a dick. It was great. <laughs> and, uh, yeah... That was interesting. Oh, we started a dance party in the parking lot, which you saw. Yeah, on your story. And you were like, "You must be drunk." And I was like, oh, yeah. "I was dead sober." I was like, "Do you?" I was like, "Do you drink?" And then I like went on his snap, and I was like, "Yeah, he drinks." <laughs> Dude, that was so random. Too. I know it was. It's random. It was like we didn't know anyone, but they were all coming out of the drag show. And then Liberty was like, "Dance party," and we were like, "What is this happening?" And then all of a sudden, we were just yeah. twerking with each other in front of cars. <laughs> Yeah. No, I You'll can't wait to see that. Yeah. You like that? that I can't wait to see that in There's Miami. Oh, in my yeah. Oh, are you well, can we have a twerk off in Miami? Oh God, no. Please, I don't do that anymore. That, that was my high school I'm days. Than that now. <laughs> I like to see it. No, no, no. It's ahead of the people. Hi. This is Malkerson. This is we'll Malkerson. We'll get there. We'll get yeah. there. Yeah. Needs yeah, to be yeah. Closer. You need to be closer to her so yeah, you can share the mic. Because I'm sharing with Sam. Esther's got. Oh, I just. I'm here on my own. It's not a big deal, guys. My pants drying it up. Okay. Yeah, what, from yesterday? What? No, I just spilled oh, coffee just now. Boy. Two seconds ago. <laughs> okay, moving on to Florida, dude. We're buzzing. Okay. Should I move over? Yeah. yeah we were in Melbourne to meet to meet up with someone. I don't even know. We just went and played beach volleyball. I forgot, Didn't right? really film anything. No. We were sleeping in a, in a parking lot, which we met people in the parking lot. That was a vibe. And we ended up just vibing with like a bunch of random strangers from all these different places that didn't know each other. And they were probably wondering like if we knew the other people. Because <laughs> yeah, we didn't tell anyone. So the people were coming up to the van. We had our friend Jace. Shout out Jace, who bought us a ton of drinks that night too. Yes. Um, and showed us a good time playing spike ball on bad the beach. Tipper, that's because he had to buy drinks for yeah. us. That was on us. That was our fault. On us. Well, that was our I'll fault. tip you out. Um, <laughs> with what <Whoa>. money? <laughs> with what tip? Yeah, I'm, with I'm what currently money? about to max out my credit card. Uh, just kindness, you know, kindness. Kindness, is kindness so. is currency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, actually, the the tip. Oh, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> sexual innuendos. <laughs> um, God, dude, I can't even. Um, so we had her as a waitress, and then it just so happened I was up at seven thirty the next day and looked at the DMs. And nah, I gotta explain this. I gotta explain okay, this. Okay, all right. I would jump on the mic. <laughs> so I, I was working and I didn't even like get time to really talk to you guys because I was talking to I was talking to everyone else that you were with and I, you guys said that you didn't know each other. I was like, oh, that's sick, but like whatever. And I'm working, so I'm just like moving on with my night. And then you guys leave and I'm on Tinder. And this guy's Tinder comes up. And Chris. Oh. I know, I know. And it very has, sexy. Very, very sexy. And it has, like, all of this information about, like, oh, like, we're traveling. Like, this is our Instagram. And I was like, that sounds sick. And I go on the Instagram. And I was like, dude, that is so awesome. Like, I, I was so stoked about it. And I DM'd instantly, like, oh, how long are you guys going to be in Melbourne for? I was like, we're leaving now. <laughs> no, but then he was like, oh, you're the cute waitress from last night. I, I did, didn't even uh, put it together. Like, I told She didn't even know that she was waiting. She just wrecked messages. Yeah, I just Tinder, messaged didn't not even it. knowing. Yeah, it was sick. And then we grabbed coffee because I was like, we're about to peace, but we'll grab coffee. Picked him up. And then it was like, have you guys been to this beach? And we're like, no, we'd love to go to the beach. We went to the beach. And then we're out in the waves. And we're like, jump in the van. Come to Miami. You won't. Known her for, at this point, three hours. Not don't even. do this, kids. Not kids, even. don't not do even. this. This yeah. is not safe. Esther, would you do it? Don't do this at home. But what about our fat vibe? You wouldn't join this? This is this is uh, this is only for show. Well, yeah. And Disclaimer: <laughs> Do not try Disclaimer, this at home. Yes, <laughs> children. This lady Malkerson was bonkers. <laughs> Do not try this at yeah, home, everybody. Yeah, seriously, especially you ladies out there, be careful. Don't hop into this random vans. Like, do not hop into a van with two random guys. Yes. 95 out of 100 times, that will not end well. 95? <laughs> well, listen, what? so I, I was safe because I took pictures of That's not a safety. and sent it to my mom and dad. Yeah. And Chris <laughs> looks like a serial killer in his life. What if it's a fake ID, <laughs> though? It's a fake ID. Though. Nah, those don't exist. Yeah. <laughs> what if it's a fake ID? What if they change their names? Sam, you know. Sam, you're telling me if me and Chris met you, you were our waiter, and we were like, yo, hop in Miami. It's going to be a fat vibe. Hop in the van. Go to Miami. It'll be a fat vibe. You're not Hell trying. no. If it's a fat vibe, I will oh probably join. <laughs> fat vibes only? Fat vibes only. <laughs> Dude, we're having t-shirts made. Esther, you're going to be the first one to purchase, right? Me? Just I have P-H-O-T. to buy it? That's crazy. That's true. Well, That's crazy. Y'all you making pu- me buy if you, this if you shirt. Put it, if you put an Instagram post up, story? Story? I'll do a story. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Take that. Dude, it's, they're it's making not, it's not me, cloud chasing. It's promotion. They just offered to send my brother a free shirt, and they're making me buy one. I'm sorry. Markson just kicked me, and I spilled more coffee. <laughs> Esther, I'm sorry. I didn't hear what you said. Neither did I. What did you say? We're not going to make you buy it. No, yeah. Whatever. We'll have this. Anything. We'll deal with this situation later. We'll handle the business later. Business outside, outside of like, this. I don't know how to hold this. Dude, I, can't, I can't be responsible for this. this is, okay. I just don't like We're trying to figure out how to hold mics. Just pass it back. That's one. Sam, I'm just. Little note if you are <laughs> Michaela Malkerson's mother or father, <laughs> you guys are lucky. Yeah. Hey. Wow. Lucky that Very she got nice. in the car with this fat bot. Exactly. <laughs> no, Lucky that they're like, harmless. People, people are gonna be looking up Michaela Malkerson on Instagram. And not her name isn't Michaela, Michaela Malkerson, but it's a it's sick just name. Malkerson. Yeah, well, Esther, we need we, we need a we need a nickname for I you. Actually, I'm just Esther. Esther. Yes. Esther like Minkster. I'm Esther. Esther the Minkster. No, the Minkster. because my brother the and I have mommy. the same last name, so like you True. can't do the last name mm-hmm. thing. Well, what? I don't know. I think Sam's got to be like something about dancing or something. What the fuck? Okay, we're done with nicknames. All right, <laughs> next. Moving on. Um, okay, so last night we got here. Also, yeah, wait, how did we get here again? Chris drove. In front of my parents' car. In front of your parents' car. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. You called me. You're like, dude, you were literally just right in front of yeah. us. I'm like, what? My mom was like t- talking about like, oh, look at that little car. Like, And I was like, those are my You're friends. Like, oh, shit. It's <laughs> dude, it's... Did you, did you have any idea what to expect, Sam? No idea. I did not know fat vibes were coming up, but <laughs> they came up. So Dude, we broke out the uh, we broke out the the chug bud heavy last night, and Sam was Sam was going to this town thing? on the chug bud. Yeah, Esther Esther it's promised she was going to do like three. I didn't tonight. say anything. I don't 
I don't chug beer. I think that's why my stomach hurts. It looks like a toilet beer. plunger. Yeah. Probably true. <laughs> Your stomach hurts from beer? Yeah, beer. I don't drink beer. I don't drink beer. I'm a Jameson type girl, as you guys know. Yeah, uh, and, and just green tea shots for everyone. Green tea shots for everyone. Dude, you left she got she us shots. Kept buying green tea I shots. Kept, but I would Wait. literally, everyone would be in the dance floor, and I would just like grab shots and just like bring them into the dance floor. Yeah. Because I this was at the that place that we left. Yeah. Yeah. I I have a problem of buying shots for everyone when I'm drunk. Like, this is a I'd, very good person to have. Right? Yeah, I know. Everyone, <laughs> everyone loves going out with me. She's like, everybody, get another one. Yeah, she yeah. disappeared for like ten minutes, and then she comes back with like six six glasses <laughs> in her hand. <laughs> And yeah, that was before okay. I was even drunk. I was a little uh, drunk, actually. No, you were a lot of drunk. No, but that was the first time, like, when we go to the first bar. It wasn't even a bar. It was, like, a restaurant. I don't know where any of you guys are, and I'm just there, like, talking to some guy. Girl, and what do you mean you don't know where we are? We were at the table. <laughs> we were you ran away. We were at the I table the whole time. I know. The same I, table. But I didn't even sit at the table yet. The first thing I did was go to the bar. I didn't realize we're sitting and eating, like... And then oh I yeah, yeah. We she did. Oh, she, wasn't we she wasn't no, there. She wasn't there. Oh yeah, she did not realize we were there. She sat down, ordered no, she calamari, didn't. No. ordered a chicken sandwich, and left the table and said, no, "Oh no, that was here. after." No, no, you're right. No. We got there and we we're like, "Where the hell is Michaela?" And I, because you, you don't guys remember? kept walking, and the first thing I did was like bar. No, shots. she didn't like, sit. Yeah, <laughs> she's oh, she right. Did. She didn't sit with us because when yeah. we got there, we were like, "We should probably find her." Remember? And then I saw you. You went to the bathroom or something, yeah. and I was like, "Yeah, I got oh, the yeah. shots." Yeah, and then she came in with shots. <laughs> yeah, and then I ordered food. Oh. Then... No, dude, dude, she. I think she got like two rounds of shots in food before I could get like one like drink. Dude, I I was standing I at just, the bar. I'm like, well, look at the difference here. Yeah. Everyone's like, "Where's Ryan?" I'm like, no, he's still there. Still, <laughs> he's still, still, he's still listen, standing there. This is how you do it. If you're a good tipper, this is how you do it. You are a woman, and <laughs> you walk up to the bar, no, and then you have milkers. <laughs> And that is how she got that name. Oh uh, gosh, yeah, we just let it out. Well, no, but Melky, it's like a different word though. I found a, I found the waitress. That's the thing. Like nobody was coming up to us, and I came and I was like, "Oh, are you serving us?" And she's like, "I can." I'm like, "All right," because like if you're just like go up to people, yeah. it's good. Yeah, okay. but not the bartenders. You don't do that. They don't like that shit. All right, so we're learning. Yeah. We're learning. And slowly, tip well. Surely. You always tip well, and then you will get the best service for yeah. sure. And then we hit D floor. I'm looking at Sammy over here, just like basically Sammy Adams. Well, you skipped out. a lot of the story. Wait, what did I skip? Like the whole process of us getting, getting there yeah. and everything. Like, How do we get there? Again? Well, first of <laughs> all, <laughs> first of all, we left. We walked on the street on on Cle- what is it called? What was the street called? Clem Clement. Is that the one that was Clementia? bumpers? Girl, <laughs> did you just say Clementia? Clementine, like Clem- Clementine Street? No, it was like Clementis or something. I don't know. And then. We walked up by a bunch of stuff. Ryan ran into some person oh he knew. I keep forgetting that happened. I saw girls from my Oh, yeah. Lord. She ran into Jesus people she knew. Yeah. How does Esther yeah. remember everything that happened? I because know. I was she not that drunk. Because shots. Esther has a rule. Okay, I have a, I have an internal body clo- uh, body rule. What rule? No. Is a rule? It's a, well, it's like this thing yeah, like where I just it. know like mm-hmm. when I need to stop drinking. And like or I... Start. Uh, I can't I can't continue to drink after like physically you cannot continue. Out before? No, I've never blacked well, I out. I was more interested in the rule where you say you don't drink when it's light out. Oh yeah, I don't like to drink when it's daytime unless like it's like a brunch thing. Well, it, are you drinking mimosas, mimosas, mimosas at brunch? Mimosas. Huh? Mimosas. Yeah. Are you drinking yeah. mimosas yeah. at brunch? Yeah. yeah. You haven't blacked out I have, like, from seven having a mimosas day? Like, I have <laughs> never ever 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 in my life blacked out or thrown up from alcohol. Well, tonight is going to be yeah. very <laughs> different. It's going to be very fun. No, no, no. Like, like I've been like I've been like ugh, ugh, but like I haven't like Whoa. actually let from it out. Alcohol? Yes, from alcohol. That's a funny joke though. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> dude, what is this? This this podcast is usually like, oh my god, it's it, uh, moving actually, on. This is a good thing to bring up right now. What? Because people like people comment, or we've had people that we've worked with before who are, are kind of like, we don't like you know what's this party vibe about? You know, I I thought it was like you're just spreading positivity, and you're going out, and you're doing this, and meeting new people, and and ac- trying to accomplish dreams and all that, and it is that, but it's also like not hiding that we are college age kids, normal like people, that, normal people, and so when people listen like you're listening to this now and it's like oh this isn't the normal podcast you're just talking about partying and drinking the whole time because that's what our night was like last night mm-hmm. and it was a blast and it's real and it's real 
And so if you don't like watching the party stuff, well, first of all, you don't have to fucking watch it. But that, that was a little that was a little like aggressive. If you, if you like, well, I'm just saying, sick. no one's forcing you to watch it. You know, so it's like we we love we love every single person that's following us and and like in the support that there is. But we're never gonna be like selling out and like no this is just our thing that's the whole thing with jack of trades it's to not hide anything just to be be fearless and be real i mean especially in the industry i feel like a lot of people just do what they think they're like supposed to show people and like guilty yeah no dude Um, (laughs) i've been there so i get it it kind of sucks you get tired of it and then like eventually like you feel like you're not even like doing something that's like you so like this the fact that you guys are just like starting there and like doing that throughout mm-hmm. the way like you're not like obviously you got to throw in a little exaggeration sometimes yeah, you got to make yeah. things look cool well, I mean, you, you got to entertain it's yeah still entertain yeah it's still entertainment so there are th- some things you know that are show but like everything else is real yeah. with you guys so like i should have introduced esther but i mean she has a very large social media following she yeah. youtubes on instagram I mean, that you noise. said you're kind of transitioning away from Yeah, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing with my social media, but, like, I like doing stuff like this. It's really just, like, the editing for me, and I don't really like other people editing my stuff. Yeah. Like, you know you know what I mean? Like, I know what you mean, yeah. It's been... Because we're trying to figure out workflow right now. And yeah. Like, so we're talking with an editor who I like. Like, I've known him. Like, work. you have to be picky. Yeah, you yeah. do. But also... And it's also... Then you're forking out money, right? To, like, have yeah. people do your stuff. So... Um. But yeah, anyway, so I Anywho. just totally changed the energy, but I just wanted to say that because it's like, I'm sure you're listening to the beginning of this podcast and you're like, this doesn't sound like it usually sounds, but it's just a, uh, what is it? It's a fat vibe. <laughs> yeah, it's totally hey, he's like, here for yeah. sound effects. Oh my God. He's like in the back doing ad libs, like <laughs> fat vibe. <laughs> Um, um, we were okay now. Dance yeah, floor. Dance floor. Back to we, the store. Wait, we got to. That's a good intermission. Though. We got to the first tea break. Um, first bar is like a rooftop bar, and me and Chris and I left <laughs> the second we got there. So we're gonna t- leave it to you around. guys. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, first of all, first of all, we walked up like ten flights of stairs just to get to this. That's so true. Bar oh, that yeah. they had fun at. I was like, I'm out. But anyways, continue. Yeah, so well, when we were walking in there, first of all, I'm just chasing Malkerson because she's just running full force on the dance floor. Like, yeah, yeah, I have a, another problem on top of buying shots for everyone. I uh, disappear. When I want to do something, I do it, and I don't tell anyone. I'm yeah, like, I want shots. Yeah. I'm going to go. It's hot in here. I'm going to leave. Dude, literally. <laughs> don't like, do this on we home. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about, because... I left guilty, guilty. I left Sam outside of the. You are skipping the whole night. No, no, no. But I'm gonna fast forward. You were worried about me leaving him there. Melkerson's just like, fuck it. I don't care. I'm going around it. And we're like, where the fuck? Like, did we lose her? No. Like, Melkerson is a liability. Just to know. (laughs) Fact. Fact. You are a a walking liability. Sober or drunk, (laughs) she is a liability. Just to note that. That's like probably the most accurate thing. <laughs> okay. so but a fun lab, a fat vibe liability. Dude, we're having that shirt made so soon. Just fat vibes. I will literally do it today. Yeah, we should do it today. We have, can we get Jabby on it? Yeah. The Jet House. We, should, we shouldn't talk about that right now. Next podcast? Yeah. Yeah. The Jet House. Is, that could be the, like the whole thing next podcast. Because we're about to experience it in Miami. Yeah, in Miami. We're literally, well, we're turning this hotel room into a frat room, basically. But we're gonna film. We might collab with. What? This is our hotel room. Yeah, this is not ours. But we, <laughs> but we already did turn yeah, it into a frat room. It already <laughs> looks like a someone robbed the place. Yeah, but they can't see it. We pushed everything. <laughs> we yeah. literally. It's all, it's all hiding. It's out of the frame. Yeah. It looks, it looks kind of nice, right? like from that angle. I mean, there's still all this shit up here. We didn't do that good of a job. I mean, no, that's not where the mess is. The, the, ch- the chug bug, like ambiance. You know, you have to. I don't even know if I use that word correctly right there. Probably not. Um, who are you maybe collabing with? Who's the YouTuber that you're talking oh, about? Oh, um, we're gonna go see one of my friends, T Pendel, in Miami. And he does like beach, like he just does like little skits and like question. He does like those interview thingies at the beach and like, you know, like yeah, with your body count. Yeah, mm-hmm. and people are like that shit blows up though. You remember the? Should we, wh- should we try some of that today? I think we, we are. So down for it. To, to film that today. I can't say no to things. Yeah. <laughs> so we have like, to. We low key have to get this shit going. Mm-hmm. We got a lot Wait, of stuff mean? to do today. Oh my god! I need to plug in my computer before this dies. Mm-hmm. 
Um, yeah, we do have a lot of stuff to do. Uh, intermission real quick. Intermission and yeah. Oh, that was the quickest intermission ever. Dude, we're back. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. Okay, so we're talking about doing possibly prank videos or just like question videos on the beach. Let's make it fun. How do you, yeah. But, yeah, I'm kind of like, because no one wants like a 22-year-old dude coming up to them and like messing with them. But if you're like a 22-year-old girl, then it's like, yes, please come ask me questions. You know? That's, it's like, do I even want to ask you questions? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But it makes it funnier when it's something that people don't like. Like, I would rather watch a video of, like, I'd rather watch a video of, like, guys doing shit that, like, no other guy would do. Because if it's a video of me doing something, it's like, oh, that's not that big of a deal. You know? It's way funnier seeing things that, like, no one else is doing. It's the double standard for me. That's the... I mean... (laughs) Where do you start that? Yeah. Yeah. I guess I'm sexist about it, but... Oh, wait, it's hard to it? not be, even though as a woman, like, it's just because of s- how society is yeah. nowadays, yeah. anyway. Well, yeah. I don't know. I just feel like if I'm more inclined to talk to a girl coming up. Actually, I would talk exactly. to anyone. But exactly. That's though, mean, like, that's that's not funny, though, because it's normal. Like, no, it's, yeah, yeah, okay, it's yeah, yeah. normal. That's why, that, exactly what I was saying, it wouldn't be that funny, because you're just like, oh, cool, this girl's coming and talking to me. But then it's like, if we're doing it for the content and you yeah. want to make it funny... You good? Yeah, I'm good. Is the mic off? No, I just turned the gain way up. Are we good? I mean, puppy? Mommy? Yes. Okay. Keep, keep going. <laughs> like, are you even, like, Hispanic or Latino or what's going on here well, with the Spanish? Well, we have, like, our own language, basically. It's called JAT language. Oh. And uh, it's, like, a lot of cheeches. Oh, have you talked about it on the clap. podcast? What? About your new language? Chupap. Mignon. Cheech. Cheech. Yam. Rip. Rip. And no one knows Rip. D floor? No one knows D floor. Yeah. That's like they they knowledge. they say D floor as if like we rip D floor. We rip D floor. So we might put that in our That's bio. That's one of the things he, uh, you texted me like, oh, I can't wait to like rip the D floor, and I was like, what? I was like, what does that even mean? Like, uh, <laughs> I felt stupid. <laughs> well, when I said rip D floor. Yeah, because I was like, well, is this like some slang that I'm? Sam, not did you know what it meant? I did not know what D floor meant. Nobody knows what he does. Really I just like I just now really I, do. I didn't D-floors say anything <laughs> until like I knew what they were. I I didn't like they said it a couple times and I like like picked uh, like from the sentences they were saying and then I like figured it out. I just didn't ask because I didn't want to know. Did you never? You no one ever said that in Boston. No, who the hell says D floor? You guys like that's not a thing. Why is it? We is we do. Us? I mean, we have started many many D floors. Many, many, many. Very, very fast. Like the last couple nights. Yeah. Like, I, like I'll say the dance floor, like, if I have to say it, but I don't even like saying dance floor. Yeah, I just no say, like, that. that's why you like, say D floor. floor. Yeah. That's why you say D floor. Way cooler. Yeah. Let's it's go sick. Rip D floor. They both sound yeah. weird. Are we going to rip D floor tonight? Yes. Obviously. Oh, my goodness. Of course like, uh, we are. We got to get in I'm, first. I'm having a twerk off with Esther. True. Apparently. If this is not on video, I'm going to be very upset because I'm going all out. I'm breaking my back on this one. Gotta get, the, <laughs> you gotta get the booty shorts out. Dude, no one's gonna hear Malkerson because Chris doesn't know how to I, move the mic in front yeah. of him all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you need to be better. You need to be better. Okay. <laughs> Here, I'll just I'll, Where are we I'll cuddle you. I wonder how long we've been recording. I don't know, but you could edit it. Right. Yeah. There's a lot of okay. BS in this. <laughs> yeah, but it's funny. It's raw. It's I don't know. Are we releasing oh, uncut footage? My uncut footage god. from last night. What? What are you? Oh my god. I can't. What? Sorry, guys. What just happened? Personal issues. You want to talk about? <sighs> Do I? Oh my God. Oh my God, I thought that was actually real. No, I'm just a great actress. Yeah, I was like, oh, no. Um, I don't know. Should we talk about our lives? Yeah, I mean, we can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Have you had to have? So you're juggling school, and then you're in social media, and, and obviously, like. Now you're moving towards, you're doing like more management stuff. stuff yeah, like now I'm doing, um, I still kind of want to do social media. I'm also like signed to a modeling agency now. So yes. that's like. Chupop Mignon. Yes. Very good. Um, and I am trying to be more on like the management side of social media because that like that's less stressful. Yeah. It could be more stressful, well, but like it's less stressful in terms of like you have to look good, you have to like. Would you it's say it's you. just it's less taxing on your mind and like? Yeah, because you're just worried about 
like making sure that that other person's good exactly not not like me like i can do whatever i want and how everyone else perceives yeah and how everyone yeah that's just like thing. such a toxic thing because yeah. you're, you're always moving towards okay i want to live like from my soul and like just but you need money you. <laughs> right right but you know you're you're taught to inner engineer yourself to like live without that ego that is formed like from society and like mm-hmm. live from here out and then the things that you can't control don't focus on those things but yeah in order to make money at is yeah entertainment or whatever like that that's the culture is like everything on the outside matters, matters. yeah and actually that is the only thing that matters when it comes to making money because yes. you don't make money if people on the outside don't like you and so that's why people get in very toxic mindsets when they're doing this it's because you're constantly thinking about what people think of you and what adjustments you have to make to sell yourself definitely and like companies like look at your like when when companies like reach out to you when business comes into the picture like they always look at how other people react to what you post does that make sense yeah Mm -hmm. so like it doesn't matter if you're a genuine person if 10,000 people don't think you're gen like the 10,000 people don't think you're genuine like you need to have like everybody like be like yeah i like you and then you're and then companies will be like okay then we like you because everybody likes you right (laughs) so that's when the money comes in yeah and that's also why growing on social media is exponential because like when you start getting that momentum people are Mm -hmm. like oh this is cool we i like this and then it's like they show their friends they show their friends and then all of a sudden you have a really good thing going. That's why starting up is like the hardest thing. Starting up is definitely the hardest thing. But I think that like what's harder is staying relevant mm. because you can start and then blow up from something like TikTok makes it so easy nowadays to just blow up from like a video or a post or something. Mm-hmm. But like staying relevant and like actually building like a brand and like yeah. building like a following that like truly follows you for who you are. That is difficult. Because yeah. I don't think even I have like a following that follows me for who I am. It's about yeah. like what I look like or what I post right. or who I know. Because a lot of my followers come from like collabs that I've done. Right. So. No, I feel that. Because that's, that's something we're really working on right now. Like obviously we put a lot of work into what we're trying to brand. But we want to make it. We we're talking to Malkison about this. <laughs> I like how do you say that without like. <laughs> I love that name. <laughs> I, we. we um, because I feel like we have a very strong message, but that oftentimes it takes me like five minutes to explain mm-hmm. it to someone. And like, <laughs> I just found a pen. <laughs> She's I like, was it was in like my butt. Pen. I don't know how. It <laughs> um, it's like some like even if you have a really strong message and like thing that you're trying to get across and like a mission, if you can't explain it basically on a poster that's like simple, clear, a lot of people and clear. Yeah, they need to get it. That's it. We got so deep, like the. F- like right off the bat, like right meeting. when we met. Yeah. And it was just like, if people don't look at your page and they don't instantly know what you're doing just from looking at it, it's like, how are you going to get more followers? How are you going to spread your message? Like it's, especially because we're so big on like instant gratification and we're so like quick, yeah. like when you're on TikTok, it's just like, boom, boom, boom. It's like, they need to look at it and instantly know, like there can't be any issues. Yeah. Because people just want to know what they're following right away. Yeah. Because if you click, yeah, if you click on a page or profile and you go there and you're like, okay, I don't know what the frick this is. It's just random stuff. So we're working on a rollout for that's, that. That's the goal. Step it up. Yeah, I'll help no you guys. Way. I'll help you. The shades are back on. Yeah, feeling them. Feeling bougie again. Yeah, guys, I'm the bougie one. Let's Bad talk bitch. about my DR trip, though. Oh my oh, gosh. Shit, I forgot. Oh yeah, my it's true. Here we go. Yeah, uh, Esther's like, she gives me like aches in my heart. Like, I'm just worried about her. Esther's like mom figure right now. Don't ever do <laughs> <get> a <laughs> Yeah, um, no one should ever do this. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> another do so not do this at home. home. We need to let the liability speak again. So <laughs> here she goes off with her story. Yeah, go you, ahead, Malkerson. You comment on one um, so <laughs> I, uh, matched with someone on Tinder and the first thing they said to me was if I fly out to DR, the Dominican Republic, I can go on a boat with them. And I was like, wait, did he fly you out or did you pay? I paid, I paid. Disclaimer. I first you red flag. a boat, you will get girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, literally. Second And point. also girls, if he ain't flying you out, why are you going? <laughs> Period. 
I mean, so I love traveling, so that's why I paid for it. Like, I will, I blow so much money traveling anyways that it's like fly yourself I, out. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I, but the reason why, yeah, the reason why I did it, I was like, when am I gonna have an opportunity to have a local show me a foreign country? Like, that's like the best experience. Like, it's the same thing. Like, if you're going to another state, it's totally different when you have someone that's from there that can give you the local experience. Wait, can I ask you a real qu- uh, question, real quick? Yeah, he was a local. Well, so he actually his his family's from there, but he's from from Orlando. here. Yeah. Oh, got it, so got he's, it. He's uh, and that's the funny thing on my TikTok. Everyone's like, he's trying to get his visa, but he's like a U.S. Uh-huh. citizen. Um, <laughs> they all <laughs> they always say shit like that. That's what everyone was saying. It's it was really funny, but um, yeah. So he was staying there, and he told me that he only was going to be there for like six more days and i would have to like go then and so the same day he said that i like called my friend i'm like i can't go by myself like this is a random dude yes this is the first thing she has done right this, yeah. this is the yeah, first yeah. thing i've heard her say that you that know, is responsible. It's a little bit wise so <laughs> maybe i should Pro- take a friend that. <laughs> thank you guys thank you <laughs> But I, I called her and she was like, at first a little bit hesitant, but she was like, fuck it, like, let's go do it. And uh, we bought our tickets and we we literally left. Like, I uh, worked Saturday night until 3 a.m. and then we left at like 7 a.m. And I pulled an all-nighter, like, just packed all my stuff and we, yeah, we went. <laughs> and it was sick. It was so cool. And after we heard that story, we knew. Belkerson would join us to Miami. That's why they asked. They saw the TikTok and they're like, all right, she'll send it. So what? You got back after your DR trip. Worked two days. Two days. Two I days. didn't even unpack from DR. Like, right. I took my clothes from my from Yeah, DR. this girl bought her a yeah. whole closet and a half. Yeah, no, I, all my clothes. She's like, get your shit out yeah. of here. <laughs> right I, next to my bed. Yeah. <laughs> well, everyone's stuff is there now. Well, Dude, actually, I can't even over imagine. There. Miami's going to be a freaking ripper it's gonna look like a hurricane went off in that room because we're gonna have no one everything. because i'll be there i'll be there <laughs> <laughs> whatever oh uh, wait we called esther yesterday to to tell her oh my gosh my butt Damn, you're oh, crazy. you called me to, to tell me that no sorry i was just stretching but no we called her yesterday oh yeah to tell her that we picked up oh yeah stray. but I, I said i picked up we picked up a stray and she goes you picked up a stray. A stray what? I like, said a stray animal or yeah. a stray human. And I was like, a human. <laughs> and she's like, what? I was like, yeah, it was our waitress from last night. We like met her this morning. And she's just like, what the frick? <laughs> I'm just like, what? Because first of all, I'm thinking uh, from her side of it, I'm like, why would you just jump into a van with two random dudes? But then I'm like, now, that you, know, now that you know, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. like, uh, I'm like, she's crazy and they're <laughs> harmless. She so jumped like, into the bus, not with two random dudes, with two fat vibe dudes so, oh, yeah. so that, emphasis on the fat <laughs> and this is and this is why sam is now joining us to miami so he can just keep telling everybody how much of a fat vibe we're gonna have but dude you know we're gonna make so many friends there guys it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be electric electric it's gonna be electric that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about i don't know how long have we been going it's gotta be sure. close to close, close to time but what else do you guys want to talk about no. See you know, you when you head. say stuff like that, that just kills it. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, what else should we talk about? Boom. End of that? the podcast right there. No, no, no. I'm not like, it, it doesn't kill the vibe. It kills the conversation. <laughs> it, kills the it, killed it. it kills the conversation because yeah, then you're, you're like, like, have you ever sat there and you're like, all right, I'm going to think of something. Yeah. And then I'm you're like, you can't think of anything. I can think of a lot of things to talk about. But the, yeah, most of them, most of them have to go on the cut loose, loose podcast. I know that's what I was oh, thinking. Sure. I have a lot of yeah. things that I would, I would talk about, but that's not for this. Yeah, we we'll definitely have, record a couple. Well, we're when we're in Miami. Yes, we'll record some cut looses in Miami. Get home from the bar. Well, we are gonna be kickstarting our Patreon very, very soon. Mm. Um, when we're home, we're gonna get all that situated because we're heading back from Miami to New York to get my sister's graduation. Shout out Haley Wynn. Congrats on gra- graduating. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh, and, hello. Congrats on graduating. Yes, me. It's about me. Yes, very mm-hmm. true. All I just graduated. Always. But I thought you were gonna start singing a song or something. <laughs> um. 
And so we're going to kickstart our Patreon, and I think we might be releasing our Alter Ego podcast called Cut Loose, which is, you would want to listen to this show. But I uh, can't really talk about it too much, because we're trying to keep it relatively family-friendly on this podcast. And that one is not family-friendly. I think, friendly. I think that kind of just, pff, a long time ago. What, family-friendly? Yeah. You don't think this was family-friendly? I think this is uh, family-friendly if your children are in college and up. Okay. That's maybe like, of... maybe like senior year of high school yeah i feel like high school went up we're going for like a pg-13 vibe uh pg-13 should have no alcohol what? no getting into strangers vans <laughs> no no um, tinder dates no tinder no yeah. no tinder so no under me. the age of eight i'm literally a mother i know you are so, so basically <laughs> any video i'm not in it's pg-13 then yes I, yeah well malgerson was alcohol. like she was. She got in the van and was like, "You guys can use me for clickbait." <laughs> <laughs> we did do that yesterday. We too. did do that. Yeah, we did. Nice. We actually, yeah, we were vibing the hot tub with uh, two of our friends that were giving us little. Oh, the Cubans. Yeah, Long the Cuban Island couple. Iced teas I, in, a, in a bottle. I swear that's how you make friends. I I saw them and I was just like, "Where are you guys from?" And then we ended up talking with them for like an hour. And they were just like feeding us. Why does everyone just give us drinks all the time? Well, Malcolmson gives us a lot of drinks. Well, we were I'm already counting drinking. on Miami. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's gonna be expensive. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. we got we got a pregame good because I'm not. Yes. Yeah, I, I'm gonna see what my I'm, friend I think Nick I'm gonna be fine. Gonna do. Yeah, Esther's gonna be fine. Esther is her nickname should be like Esther Mommy because that's basically <laughs> Esther <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> mommy. <laughs> Ma- Wait, have you seen that TikTok where there, or where it's like when your girl pays for food and it's like, mommy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's what every time I see her now, I'm gonna be like, Esther, mommy, what are we doing? Mommy, like M O M M Y, mommy. Yeah, Esther, yeah. mommy. Wait, how else would you spell it? Like mommy, oh, like. Mommy. But that's Esther not like mommy. mommy. That's not. That's different. But there's a bit. You know, if it, it depends on what you're doing. I could be like Esther mommy, or it could be like Esther mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it say. sound like um like a Japanese like food meal? Esther mommy. You want some Esther mommy? <laughs> <laughs> that was like a. Mid- oh, you know mid- why? Because of sweet green. Because the shrew mommy at sweet oh. green. Yeah. Okay. You probably don't know what that is since we you don't can, eat food. Well, you know when we. Drop the since you eat one meal a day, you malnourished child. Not malnourished, it's just scheduled eating period. Okay, I'm like a dog. Period. Yeah, you literally are. You're eating out of cans. Yes, (laughs) dude. I had the best burrito bowl. Bye, stop. I don't want to hear about this wrap tuna, wrap whatever, avocado, black beans, chicken. Wait, where'd you get the avocado? Is it canned? No, 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 we we have you bought a real avocado. No, we have, yeah, we have fruit. fruit. You you don't give us, you have a fridge, yeah, but it doesn't work. (laughs) (laughs) So, you don't have a fridge, you have an extra storage compartment, yeah, yes, for food. Yeah, food. food goes in there now. How do you how do you have not fruit in there? Food. Not refrigerated food. What? But you like buy fruit like yeah. and then eat it. Yeah, you we don't have like a lot keep of it. Times. I was under the impression like when y'all were saying you you ate canned food that like you literally packed like thirty cans in the back of your mm-hmm. truck truck. Well, they did that too, but <laughs> ate those though. you got uh, beans in there. Yeah, Ooh, I looked. Dude, you guys those beans were. Good. Do you, you heat the beans cans. up or do you just eat them oh, out the can? No, we just eat them out the can. You're joking. With the beans? No, not joking. Well, you don't have to cook those. They're black beans. They're on you the don't burrito cook then. beans? Not those beans. Wait, I'm confused right now. Are we talk about the same kind of beans? The black beans? The black beans? You don't cook them? You gotta no. cook them. The no, camp. you don't. You have to. No, you don't. You don't we don't ate them straight to, up. But <laughs> you don't have to, but that's gross. Yeah, that's disgusting. Dude, it tasted amazing. So I was it's cheeching. Freak. Oh, that was good. That was really good. Yeah, see, I couldn't I couldn't do that. what they're yeah, doing. It's like, hello, this is a Cooking with Trees. Welcome to our show. <laughs> we were talking about this yeah. yesterday that we want to do a video of him teaching me how to cook. Dude, we because can't do I it. can't cook at all, like, anything. Okay. I'm so right in the room. She gets yeah, in vans with random guys and she can't cook. I know what the fuck. Yeah, no, literally, I, I'm. We're leaving why you do you in think Miami. I'm single. I'm here. <laughs> I promise you, there's someone. I promise you, there's someone out there for you. I promise you, one there day. is somebody out there for you. There's a lot of people out there for somebody you. Somebody would like it. But... There's one common theme with all of Melkerson's crazy adventures, and that is Tinder. <laughs> yeah. So that's why you're single. That's Yo, that, <laughs> honestly, honestly, when you delete those apps, is when you start dating people. See, I well, I just well, I got hinge. out of a long term relationship. Yeah. I was dating someone for like two plus years and we just broke up like a month ago so i'm on my adventure now. a month ago 
yeah. and she's gone on two random stranger journeys. Yeah, I. I wow, was, that must have been a. You must honestly, have felt like you were in prison in that relationship. Well, no, I realized. I was just like, <laughs> no, it's just like life is short, right? Yeah, literally. Yeah. And if I'm gonna sit and dwell on it, like, what what good is that gonna do? No, for yeah, me? not at all. And you know what? If it's meant to be, it'll be. That's what I say. Like, that's what I tell him. Meant to be. He, no, I say that wrong. and then I cry about it. Oh. <laughs> Shades I, go up. See, I feel bad for my. <laughs> I feel bad for my my ex because he gets he's like seeing all the shit I'm doing. Uh, and so like he like Why saw, would you feel bad for him though? Because like he's literally like Did he do you dirty? No. Oh, he, so I then I broke up with him for no he didn't do anything wrong. Like, oh my god. I broke up with him because he didn't do me dirty. Well, no, like he literally Ooh. did not. That's why I feel We bad. can talk he's, about this off the camera, but I have some stuff to talk about. No, yeah, oh, just, yeah, we can talk about we, it on. We can talk We like, need to start putting out the full video with this. I'm very close to doing that. Because it's hilarious. Yeah. Like, and you miss our reactions without the video, you know? True. Wait, why don't you post the video? Because it's just a giant file to upload. Yeah, to but people know. are going to want to see me. Yeah, it's very true. <laughs> well, they'll see you in clips. Yeah. We clip no, down stuff. No, but then they're going to know who I am. Remember? That's true. Because the uncut stuff, like, I don't. I'm well, gonna be a lawyer one day. They, I can't have people know. You know what though? Yeah. Like they don't really, they don't really look. Just as long as your name is not in the in the yeah, description. Mal- that's why it's Mal- exactly. Malgerson. Malgerson. As long as Malgerson. your name, as long as your name's not in the description, no one's ever gonna find you in this video. It's untrackable. So. And that's why you gotta get some sunglasses. We're gonna go shopping today. All right. <laughs> okay, we go shopping. So that yes. you can um, hide. Would you have guessed that Malkerson is studying to be a lawyer based on everything you've learned about her so far? <laughs> Probably not. In, in addition, <laughs> in addition to what you're saying, maybe just not expose her a little. Yeah, we are we exposing you. Just <laughs> just by saying like she's studying to be a lawyer, like yeah, she she just oh, fucked herself. Up I there. thought we were talking yeah. about cut loose. Well, yeah, she I know said that's that what I'm worried about. Is oh, oh, I'm not yeah. worried about this. Like I, I'm, this is fine. Yeah, but like our cut loose stuff, like I, I'm horrible. I I'm gonna say some bad things when I'm like really drunk. People it's are gonna bad. think we're drunk right now based on this conversation. I am drunk though. <laughs> oh my god, no, I am still... sober. Dude, I'm Everyone is sober, except, except for Melgerson. <laughs> are you still drunk from last night? Dude, I was trying again? to nap and I was kind of napping, but everything was just like. <laughs> She's like, are your eyes ever just like holy shit? Like, like, see, like I barely <laughs> experienced that because like I just can't. I've only experienced the spinning feeling. One time in my life. That's good. You don't I've want to experience it. I've been all often. morning. I've been wanting another drink so bad just to like. It's get literally it. yeah. eleven forty in the morning. She's like, "I'm gonna be a lawyer. You can't expose me. I'm fucked up and I don't even drink." <laughs> guys, you guys haven't even seen my serious side. I actually like am a. I tr- I'm a try hard in school. Like I get good grades. Like. I was in the IB program, but, like, this is, like, yes. the at-home stuff. Like, at school, I'm going to be a TA next semester. Like, I'm a totally different person at school and for work. Well, I guess not my work anymore. Uh, but I, 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 I know how to it. switch it off. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just, like, fun to not be serious all the time. Like, I would hate my life if I was, like, that 24-7. Yeah, like, for I sure. couldn't. I couldn't be as serious. So you couldn't live like that. No one could live like that. Yeah. Or you would live like that and, like, be miserable. Because, like, what's the point of working that hard if you're not going to enjoy, like, the fruits of your labor? Exactly. Exactly. That's so cliche. I don't know. Like, it, that stuff that, when that stuff leaves my mouth, sometimes I'm like... <clears throat> <laughs> if you work. <laughs> no, was, that was supposed to be a disgust sound. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I get the sound thing. effect right. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for listening to the podcast. We'll see you in Miami.